<laughs> Throw my thigh. That's what I was back then. I was OTFD, man. I'm Louie. Now I changed that shit. Now you feel me? Tatted on me. That shit over with. But yeah, back then I was a player, so I ain't getting a fuck about my bitch feelings. You feel me? Until that shit started happening to me. And fucking me. All these bitches in my phone, they trying to get with me. I hit the gas when I see red. I don't wait for green. They like, slow this bitch down. You go too fast now. YouTube, this your boy Louis D back with another video, man. You already know, back like I never left in this bitch, man. You hear me? VL in this bitch. Shit, we finna get on to the little story, you feel me? A little story time. You know, I ain't drop nothing in a minute. Well, I ain't talk to y'all in a minute, you feel me? I ain't, you know, I used to drop story times all like crazy, but shit, I been, you know, switching it up, you know, vlogging, doing a little other shit, hoop sessions and shit. Check out my other videos and shit, man. Check the music out, I've been dropping and shit, but tell from the top to y'all, from the top, you already know this about. My first time cheating and how I feel about cheating and shit. And then how I feel about if relationships relationships can come back after cheating and shit. So I'm just going to give y'all my opinion and my experience and shit. Shit. My first time cheating, I think I was in like, what? I think I was in like sixth grade. Sixth grade. Or fifth, sixth or fifth grade. I was dating this girl, man. I ain't going to say her name, but I was dating her. We was, we was like dating, dating. You feel me? Like, my mama knew her mama. She would come over. I spent out over here. I was spent out over there. Like, I think she was my longest relationship. I think it was like three years. Three years. It had to be like fourth or fifth grade. Dated for like three years. But she kept taking me back because I kept cheating and shit. So, you know, I was doing my thing. My first time I cheated on her, though, we stayed in, um, it was this girl that stayed across the alley from me. Her name was Isa. It's a little, uh, Puerto Rican girl. Fan as hell. My damn. You cheat like crazy with that damn girl. So, shit. I used to see her all the time and shit. And I always in my head, I'm like, man, that girl fine as fuck. I'm my dead homie. You know? And back then, I was a player. I ain't gonna lie. I was a player. Like, I kind of, like, right now, I'm kind of cool. I'm on that. I'm cool on that shit. I ain't, I just want a girl, one girl. I ain't trying to do all that shit. But back then, for I was, you feel me? Don't my thigh. That's what I was back then. I was OTFD, man. I'm Louie. Now I changed that shit. Now, you feel me? Tatted on me. That shit over with. But, yeah, back then I was a player, so I ain't getting a fuck about my bitch feelings, you feel me? Until that shit started happening to me and fucking me up, you feel me? But, shit, I was doing my thug deals, you feel me? I had the little cornrows. I ain't had jerseys at times, y'all know me? I had cornrows and pigtails. I had, little, I had little braids at the time and shit. We was dating and shit. My little long, my dread, I mean, my braids was like down here. So, shit. I used to see her all around all the time. We ain't, she ain't went to the school, though. She lived out there, but she ain't go to that school. I don't think her, people, her parents didn't want her to go to that school. She went to like, a different school. So I used to see all the time, I used to go to sneak in her yard. Her daddy didn't like me. I used to sneak in her yard when her daddy was gone or something. Mama was cool. And we used to get on the trampoline and shit. She had a trampoline. Then my cousin stayed downstairs for me. He had a trampoline, so she used to come over there too. So we used to just chill. She already knew I liked it, so. But I ain't never tried until I think one time we was just me and her outside. And I never told her I had a girlfriend. I told her when she asked me, I said, no, shit. We got the, you know, kissing and shit. Can you feel me? And then I was going with, I was with my girl at the time. We was I was with her. I was with my girl at the time, and I was going to see Isa at the time because she stayed right across the alley. But shit, I used to I used to like dog my ex girlfriend for like a couple years ago. Like she used to take me back. That was not the first time I cheated. I mean that was the first time I cheated, but that's not the only time I cheated. Like I cheated on her bad, bad. Like and she kept taking me back until I, the final time I cheated on her, and she. She said that shit was over with. We ain't never get, we ain't been together since. Like, since that day, like, shit. She cool as hell. We were like, talking every now and then, but she, but that shit, ever since that last time, that last time was it. I used to get on Facebook. I was so dumb, you know. I used to get on Facebook and say the shit. I'm with some girls and shit. Like, I was dumb as hell, but she called me, like, I think I got caught one time, but not the first time. The first time she was Isa. We was on the porch. We kissed. Um, we, 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 ain't, we ain't had sex with but I used to kiss on her all the time. We used to kiss like crazy. My tongue all in that motherfucker. Like, Oh, then that motherfucker, she was so, mm, she was bad, Puerto Rican girl, oh my god. I think that's why I like Puerto Rican girls so damn much, she was bad, y'all, I ain't gonna lie, she was bad. But, uh, yeah, we kissed, and it's crazy, because I ain't feel bad about it, like, I kept going over there doing my thug death, you hear me? And kept going with my girlfriend, kissing on her, spending night with her, you hear me? Bending that over, my damn homie. And I kept going over there, seeing her, kissing all that shit, we ain't never fucking nothing, but tongue all in that shit, like, and then... Only reason probably we, well, we stopped because I moved. I ended up moving, so I lost contact with her. That's it. But the, uh, other than that, we probably would have been, you feel me? I probably would have got it. I'm mad I didn't hit that, though. I should have hit that on my dead home. I should have. Mm -hmm. Little Issa was so, oh my God, she was bad, though. But to be honest, y'all, 
somebody asked me the other day, they said, do you think a relationship can go back to normal cheating? And I said, my opinion, I think hell no. Nah. Because a bitch, the way I am now, I'm cool. Like, I ain't going to do too much, but if I get in a relationship, because, no, yeah, hold on. Let me, take, let me phrase that. The way I am now, I'm giving my all the relationships. So if you cheat on me, I'm dogging the fuck out of you. My dead homie, it's not going to be the same. I'm never going to trust you again. Shit over with. You hear me? I'm fucking your cousin. I'm fucking your friends. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Even if your mama got a crush, I'm hitting that. My homie, shit dead, bro. I just, to me, I just feel like, I just feel like relationship can't go back to normal after cheating, dog. I just can't. I just, not to me, personally. I just can't do that shit, bro. Like, because you know what you was doing. Like, especially if I'm putting my all in. I'm not the type of nigga that do all that shit. Because I used to, telling you, I used to be a player. I used to dog holes. Now, I just be, I be chilling in my own space, man. I be focused on this money, my my career, my music and shit, I ain't even really trying to fuck with no girl unless she really on the same thing I'm on and really trying to, you feel me, start from the bottom with me and work our way to the top. These bitches nowadays, they just want social media and attention. I ain't really with all the shit. And I just feel like, I feel like bitches go off social media too much. Like, and I just feel like that shit not going to work. Like, you feel me? Like, I don't know. I don't like a girl that just base everything off social media. Like, let's just live our life and do us. You feel me? We ain't got to do what social media say is a perfect relationship. You feel me? And cheating and shit, I just feel like, I just feel like, to be honest, I think cheating is played out, man. Like, I feel like if you got to cheat, like, if you want to cheat, man, is this a reason why you want to cheat? Yo, either your girl, your, your dude or girl ain't doing something right, or it's just, it ain't really there. Like, it ain't really there. You're not going to just cheat. Just for any, like, for no reason. It's got to be something that's throwing you off about your significant other. You feel me? Because, like, I, I'm telling you, I've been there. I experienced all that shit. I've been through toxic relationships. So I just feel like, to me, right now, relationships cannot go back to together. Once you cheat on somebody, that fucks them up mentally in their head. Like, you're not going to you're not gonna feel the same no more once you get cheated on. And knowing that you was, knowing you was faithful behind their back and loyal, so if you get cheated on, you're not going to be the same no more. It just fucks you up, I'm telling you now. From the past experience, it just fucks you up. I'm no, if a bitch cheat on me, I'm not going back to normal. I'm telling you, I'm fucking her friends. I'm going, I'm fucking everybody in her family. That shit over with my dead home. We, it ain't going to, it's going to be tick for tack. The relationship is going to be dead. You might as well just, it's over with. It's going to be tick for tack. I'm never going to let get over it, bro. Like, we can be cool, go to friends and shit. But boyfriend and girlfriend shit, relationship settling down, it's over with between me and you. Like, we fucked it up. So that's what I'm saying. Like, for any girl, a dude. Y'all get in a relationship? Just don't cheat, man. If you gonna cheat, you feel me? Like, let us know heads up. Like, look, shit. We, I ain't really feeling this. But some, I think, what well, niggas cheat and try to hold on to the girl because we know we got a good girl. I'm speaking from a male perspective. We know we got a good girl. We know y'all not going nowhere. Y'all dumb on us. I think that, I mean, that's why we cheat. Because we know y'all dumb and y'all not gonna, y'all gonna keep taking us back and taking us back. So we gonna be like, fuck it, I'm gonna do whatever I want. She done over this dick anyway. So I'm gonna, you feel me? I'm giving this good ass dick. She gonna stay right here. Fuck, I'm gonna go do my thug this one. You feel me? That's how niggas think. That's how I used to think. I ain't gonna lie. That's how I'm speaking for a niggas. That's how we think. Y'all know. That's how we think. So I feel like, to me, no. Answer is no. Relationship cannot go back to normal after one uh, one of them is cheap. It's not gonna go back to normal. shit over with. So to be honest, y'all, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna work. But. Shit, I just want to talk to y'all, story time, you feel me, you know, uh, comment below what y'all want me to talk about, anything, relationship advice, what I think of this, it can be anything, you know, I'm going to answer anything, you know me, I'm on dead at home, I'm going to answer it, I don't care what it is, it can be nasty, I don't give a fuck what it is, let me know in the comments what y'all want to see next, what you know, you feel me, you know, I was just telling around, boy, I said, let me get that as a story time, I ain't talked to my people in a minute, you feel me, you know, and y'all fuck with me hard, y'all show me so much love, so, you know, I'm going to talk to my, uh, talk to my people, man, hey, but, Hey, if you new to my channel and shit, man, just subscribe to the channel, man. Like, you feel me? You feel me? I got some new shit. I got music all along the way. You feel me? I got all type of shit. You feel me? You can vibe to all my type of shit. You feel me? But shit, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all want to see in the comment. I'm going to talk about it. That's just my opinion on relationships and cheating and my first time cheating and shit and getting caught and shit. So, but yeah, I, I fucked I fucked over. It was a good thing. We was like, we was together for like three years. But, you know, I learned from my mistakes. I was young. I was like 15, 16. I'm 22 now. So, no, I think I was like... Probably 14, 13, but I'm 22 now, so all that shit, I matured. Like, I don't really get into that shit, multiple, entertaining multiple girls. Like, I do it now because I'm single, but I still don't even want to do it now because that shit is just lame as hell. It's boring. Like, you know, try to lie to this girl, lie to this girl, sneak with this girl one day, how I come over and shit. I ain't into all that shit. I'm still, but I'm chilling right now, so I'm having fun. But when they get to that, when I meet that one girl, you feel me, then yeah, I'm going to try that. But 
I appreciate y'all. This your boy Louis D, man. I'm out with another video. I love y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, and we, we going crazy. Oh, yeah, man. I fuck with y'all. Okay? All these bitches in my phone, they trying to get with me. I hit the gas when I see red. I don't wait for green. They like, slow this bitch.